Seattle secured a huge bias against me by claiming to be working the will of John Lennon. And they also secured um, a very mean-spirited bias by making their project, which is a heist, worth a lot of money. And um, masquerading it as charity. And they staked out the claim that if I endorse their narrative, they may be willing to let me go alive, which is, of course, one of their normal deceits. They have no intention of doing anything of the kind of ripper murderers. So it's criminally insane to begin with. But having received the words of wisdom from John Wayne, which I will get back to, they have proceeded to Durf Ho, claiming that when I jumped on Bruce Abbey's back when I was 15 years old, I was uh, representing the entire caseload of Celine Dion from Mount Desert Island, which means justifying the AIDS attack. Because Leslie Katz had uh, grounds to fear for her. Um, uh, she wasn't afraid for her safety. She came over to my house long after, even made out with me a bit, long after she received the letter. Uh, so will not say safety, her, um, her um, personal space. So therefore, because she ripped off this pick, and therefore I'm a rapist, and virginity is proven by virginity. Okay, so I'll walk you through what happened. With the, uh, the, the, people wanted to fight. I was a little bit inebriated. And I didn't want to fight, you know, but it was an ugly scene. So to, to make it less ugly, I piggybacked Bruce Abbey, and he, I've never blamed him, decked me. And um, I guess I deserved that. I mean, but when I was walking by Vantos about a week later, one of his friends subjected me to a slaughtering sudden attack. That's much more questionable. But you can hardly say I wasn't punished. Now, Leslie Katz was back naked. In, in, I was eating her out, and she was asleep even with her legs spread. And did I leap on her? No, I wept because I didn't have her consent and I was in pain. And that, the, the, the murderers are claiming that what I did was a sexual attack to Bruce Ivey. Apparently, this is what they're saying. It illustrates I had a propensity to jump on somebody to pounce on them in a sexual attack. And they can't make their lives work no matter what they do. But they've heard the words of wisdom of John Wayne, who whispered Abdul in their ears. So they have seen the light. What does that mean? Well, the Grangian Society put this together. The Grangian Society, it's Tim O'Dejong who worked with... Um, Fripp and King Crimson, but goes back even further through the Wispensky Mafia to Hitler's Paris, where Gurdjieff was working with the Gestapo and techniques that Paul McCartney has deployed in the United States of America with their poacher approach to the opium war that they used the 60s for. And it goes back to cinema of Cubist era. Italian futurists, Lu Luigi Freddy, D.W. Griffith, and Mussolini's little boy who was a hot shot in Hollywood. The fascist movement. And the fascist movement came up with the Grangian Society's idea of an arc. Exterminate all of these people and build an arc. And they're justifying Mount Desert Island with a, a conjuring act of drama school little switchboard techniques that they put together and they're, they're hot wiring in, trying to make it connect, trying to make it connect to justify poisoning somebody in the mouth. They came on to me, they claimed that I love, um, that I didn't love Rosa. Are you saying I didn't love Rosa? Is that what you're saying? Chris, oh, Chris. Is that what you're saying, that I didn't love my girlfriend? You must be sick in the head. So, so they came on to me with the fake and to rip open the neuroplasm. 
No, I trust you, King Crimson. They talk about have faith, have faith. You do not trust us. Have whole heart fidelity to the Krokagra girl, so you're going on. I trust the Fripp with everything. I believe they were going to get the truth. It turned out that what they were doing was playing a neuroplasm for a fake report in a murderous heart wiring routine of cold blooded fraud. I was the one who had to get the truth, and that is what I got the truth. Virginity does not prove rape. Piggybacking some kid in the park because things were getting out of hand to try to lighten the atmosphere does not, it's just proven as a, as a sexual attack by the fact that Leslie Katz had her shirt up, her legs spread completely naked, and let my, and she fell asleep while I was giving, giving cat cleanse she used to compare it to. Did I pounce on her? No. I curled up in a bow and wept because I didn't have her consent. What the fuck are these evil people thinking they're doing? Can you explain that to me? Seattle should be closed. They're criminally insane. They've been doing this for 50 fucking years after they kidnapped and tortured me. 